Ah. Now we've already seen this uh, cutscene here because I, I put it at the start because I feel it's a bit, a bit out of place there. So I did a little bit of editing and put that at the start. Okay, so here we are in uh, in Candlekeep. So this is just telling me basic controls, but I I know I know how to play the game. Um, it also says here you should move clockwise around Candlekeep. It lies to you. That is a lie. You should move anti-clockwise. This is us. Hello, Variax. Say hi to Variax. He says hi, viewers. Um, right. If we plus go to our map screen, here's Candlekeep. This is where we grew up, and this is where we spent our entire lives. We might have gone out occasionally to uh, fields or maybe a nearby village, but he's really had no um, contact with the outside world at all. So we're going to be making our way around here first. Now, Gorion, our foster father, has told us to prepare for a journey. We have to leave, so, uh, you know, very quickly. Um, so we've got to go to this inn first. Candlekeep Inn. So we'll head in here and we'll talk to the barkeep. Who is there? So we'll just click on him to talk to him. Well, hello there, young one. Come to visit your own pal Winthrop, have ye? Well, don't forget the 5,000 gold piece book entrance fee. That's by Candlekeep Custom, don't you know? Oh, you're always the big kid, Winthrop. It gets funnier nearly every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Um, I know these people. I've grown up with these people, you know, all my life. So there's no need to be uh, a bit of a dick to them. Uh, so we can uh, see what he has. Okay, so we have 301. No, I wish I had 300. We got 130 gold there, so I'm just going to buy some uh, basic equipment. Now, if we scroll down here, we can see that the. Uh, I can't get the composite longbow. That's a bit of a. It's bec I can't get the composite longbow because it needs a strength of 18. Now I only have 15. Big ask that. Now I could get the longbow, but again, that's quite expensive. So. We're going to have to forego our bow for for a bit. I am going to buy some. Oh yeah, a short sword, because that's what we're good at. I'm going to buy some arrows, and because of the mod, I can buy quite a lot of these, and they will only take up one slot in my inventory. See, 320 there, and uh, whereas normally that would be like 40 or 20. And we're going to buy some boats because that's part of a quest. There are certain errands that you can run around Candle Keep, and hell, I'm going to do them. Um, th this whole area counts as like um, a tutorial level, so uh, I'm I'm going to skip most of the tutorial stuff, but I am going to do the quests. I don't honestly know why. I'm just going to do them. Uh, we can wear any of this armor because we are a fighter, but we're also a thief. And if we wear anything above this armor here, study leather armor. If we wear and by above, I mean like heavier than. So if we wear chain mail or splint mail, we can't use our thief skills because it's too it's too bulky on us, and it restricts our movements too much. So we're going to go with study leather armor, which is the heaviest armor we can wear, uh, and still use our thief skills. We're not going to bother with a shield because uh, well, we could get a shield now actually. Thinking about it, because I'm not using my bow, but I don't think it's going to be too long until I get my bow. Because when I have my bow, I'm using both um, both my arms to use my bow, and so I can't use a shield at the same time. I think we're just going to forgo the shield. And, um, oh, screw it, I'll get a medium shield. And we'll get a helmet as well. We can wear a helmet, no problem. Ah, uh, now, uh, if we right-click our character portrait up there, we go into our inventory. And uh, here's our backpack, so this is all the items we are carrying. And the, up here is all the items that we have equipped. And currently we just have one measly quarter staff equipped. We're going to get rid of that. We don't need that. We're going to just drag all these onto our character to equip them. And it will put them in the right place. So these are the things that we're wearing. You can have a cloak, boots, a belt, rings, shield, or an offhand weapon. You can dual wield in this. Um, then you can have uh, an amulet, your helmet, braces, and your your armor. This is your quiver for if you have a, um, a missile weapon. This is your ammo. These are the weapons you're currently using, and you can access them quite quickly. And these quick items can be accessed from the uh, main game menu, so you can get to them pretty quickly. They're mostly for uh, for potions, mostly healing potions, um, cure poison potions, strength potions, stuff like that. Um, right, that's the inventory done. Oh, I should just say... Um, 
Here's your armor class. This is how good you are at avoiding damage. Pretty much the lower the lower this is, the better. If I take my shield away, it will go back up to three. It's the, it's the way the game works. I mean, you would have think like yes, higher, better, but uh, no, it's actually lower. So you really want a negative number there. I mean, minus two would be would be you know pretty good. And and here we have our hit points. And where we have nine hit points. That's our total, and that's what we have currently, so we're at full health. If our hit points go to zero, we are dead. Dead. If our main character dies in the game, then that's it. Game over. Reload. Uh, you can resurrect your, your NPC companions that you're going to collect later on. Um, but if your main character dies, you're dead. So let's have a look around, because if I press tab, I can see... Oh, look, that's highlighted. I can go here and have a look. And it's locked. Drat. Well, we do have some levels in Thief. So if I click on this button right here, which is my thieving skills, you can click on that and then click on the chest or whatever it is. And see, I've I got good pick lock lockpicking skills, so I can open that and take whatever's inside. We have some scrolls, which have spells in them, which I can't use because I'm not a mage. And some gold. Gold's always good. If we go in here. Oh, there's only a dagger there. Plus there's some people there, and they might take exception to me taking from there. Let's go and talk to this guy. I'm not going to go... I'm not going to read every... Um, every line of, every line of um, dialogue in the game, because that would extend the LP by about 500 videos, because there is quite a lot of dialogue. I'm going to read all the important stuff, and probably all the stuff that I don't know from memory. Um, so I'll probably be reading a lot in the latter stages of the LP, but for now He wants us to go and get an identify scroll, which is another spell scroll from someone wandering run around the inner ground So we'll do that, but first of all we're going to head upstairs because there's some goodies up there that we want Now um, These are the rooms that you would stay in if you were staying here now this guy is asleep So we can steal that Varex figures that since he's Garayan's saying we should go for an important journey, um, then Varex needs all the help he can get. And I reckon he's done this kind of thing before. He's a he's a sneak. He's uh, you know he's he's got in trouble. He's probably been punished for for stealing from the guests at the inn before. So he's uh, no stranger to doing this. That is locked, but it should prove no problem for us. Ah, an amulet. This is non-magical amulet, so I'm not going to bother wearing it. I'm just going to sell that. A silver necklace. Ah, he's asleep as well. So if there's anything in here, yes. Well, let's just take whatever's in here. Selfish, selfish. Oh, look at that. Now. Oh, look. It's a potion. We right click on it to see what it does. I'm not too bothered about what this says. It's down here that we're interested in the statistics. Okay, it prevents feeble mind, confusion, fear, and charm for five turns. I don't know what a turn is. Honestly, it's something to do with combat. Uh, a turn could be six seconds, maybe. There's turns and rounds in in this, and it's very ambiguous about what the hell it is. Why it can't just say, you know, like 30 seconds, I don't know, but five turns that lasts for. Anyway, uh, so we would drink that if we were going into battle against maybe a mage, because there's some of the effects that a mage would try and cast on us to stop him from attacking him, so then he could uh, kill us with fireballs and other nasty things. So we're going to put that in our quick items, so when we come into this, we can see that Variax has that right here. So if I see an enemy that might cast that, I can just click on that and hopefully I can avoid any ill effects. Let's just go to the end of this hallway. Okay, there's nothing in these two rooms so we can ignore them. In here there's a chest and... Um, correct me if I'm wrong guys, but uh, I don't think you can pick this chest unless you're a halfling with a dexterity of 19, halfling thief, and maxed out lockpicking. I thought that was the case, however, because that's like the best lockpicking you can get, you know, at the start of the game. However, yeah, it lets me pick it, which lets me get this, which is a star sapphire gem. Uh, there's nothing special about that, apart from the fact that it's worth 1,000 gold pieces. 
I'm going to press Q and quick save here. 1,000 gold pieces. So we're going to sell that and get a nice big bonus at the start of the game. Since, uh, you know, it's slightly more than the 115 we've got now. Uh, let's go in here. 